Okay, so welcome to another video. We will be uh, modeling Bender in Blender. Okay, so um, relatively low poly. Um, let me show that right here. And it's just uh, we're going to use some bendy bones and rig it so. In the animation, all this kind of curve, uh, kind of did a little bit of uh, embellishing here by putting uh, kind of segmented fingers for Bender, even though in the cartoons it's just straight lines. I mean, just cylinder, so it's basically a copy of this. All right, and uh, let's uh, turn the wireframe off so we can see. All right, this one, uh, I think I already rigged this so that it, uh, it oops, uh, uh, the uh, origin should be aligned to it already. Let me see here. Yep, right there on local. All right, so I got a position, I got the... Uh, local access to kind of position it there already the origin and okay so we'll start with a simple one and then uh, part two will be adding all the detail all right so let's get started okay so um, if you're familiar with the channel we start off with some reference of uh, the um, model that's already made so that uh, it's a lot easier for beginners to kind of get going instead of using uh, 2D images as reference, uh, however, we will have a video lesson just for that, uh, just to study how we can uh, use reference image that we acquire online and use them uh, to model and know uh, the wireframe mesh for them, okay? So, but for now, uh, we're trying to make it easy for everybody. So I'm going to have uh, one right here for the front, okay? So we'll, they'll have the same size, and then we'll go to the side right here then we'll drag um, oh, not that one side one so I just took a screenshot okay so what will happen is those two uh, same thing as before let me turn on my screencast okay and we'll go to item right here we're zero out the value for the location so that they're exactly the same okay and we're going to have to uh, move uh, this one back so that it's not occupying the same space as our um, as our uh, model so we'll put that on the y-axis we're going to grab this one and push it along the x oops not rotation right there so it has like an l-shape to it okay and we will uh we'll get started with a model okay so first uh let's make sure that uh the uh let's delete this let's go to x-ray mode right here and we want to make sure that this thing is centered so to the world okay so let's go to our image right here turn on opacity just so that you know we could actually see that line. We're very close to it. That blue line right there. So GX. I'm going to hold down shift so it will rock really slow. All right, right there, center of the world. And we should get started. Okay, so next is that we're going to activate our filter for selectability. We want to uh, remove the selectability of the two images so there's no way that we can accidentally move them. Okay, so we're going to start off with what's obvious, uh, what's uh, with Bender, it's basically a uh, cylinder, okay, and it's the exact same, it's just the default cylinder is what I use, I think, uh, it has 32, so let's get started on that one, so add mesh cylinder, and whatever the default is, I think is what I'm using, so I'm going to... Uh, Actually, let's turn this back on to 
uh, both of these remove opacity right here just so that we're not seeing way too many lines because the grid is already exposed okay then unselect that again going back here to let's go to our x-ray and uh, we can just scale this until it's uh, the same uh, diameter as Bender's head. So we're going to go again. Okay, right there. It's close enough. Okay, we're going to bring this down up to here so that we can create this part here. Okay, so let's go to edit mode. I'm going to go to uh, face selection right here. I'm going to select the face here. All right, and then uh, what we'll do is uh, we're going to extrude that. So I'm just going to press E to extrude. We're going to extrude it all the way up to that point right there. Okay, and then we're going to switch to edge mode while that ring is selected. Okay, we're going to right click and bevel the edge. As you can see here, bring it down around there same thing as our image and then once we have that open bevel panel right here and add the segments so we have uh, yeah, let's kind of match that all right let's see all right right there so five uh, segments and then around 0.7 on the, whoa, uh, 0.7, not seven. <laughs> okay, or a little bit more, I guess. Right there should be fine, okay? So around 722, all right, and then we'll do this top part again. That can be, uh, uh, part of it uh, or another one but we're just going to make it so I'm going to select the very top okay and then we will kind of scale that to kind of match the diameter of that one same deal we're going to extrude it like so and scale it up to that part right there switch to edge mode and it'll still have that ring selection we right click and bevel again the value is a little too much on that one. Uh, we're going to have to uh, uh, cancel the bevel. Let's go to our object mode and let's apply uh, while in uh, while in um, sorry in object mode. Go to object, apply a scale transform or all transform would do. Once we have that, once we bevel now. Uh, we should have uh, a little bit more of a kind of spread right there. So that means I have to make my bevel a little bit narrow right here, or my extrude. So let me click and do right here. So I'm going to scale that up a little bit wider, and then bevel. Let's add all that. Uh, it's still not doing it, so let me click and do. Let's just uh, scale. I think it's yeah. I think I just need to scale it up like so. Let me click and do until we go back to that one. So press just scale it. No need to kind of taper it. I think uh, if I go to edge mode. There we have it. Okay, that was my mistake. I kept kind of um, uh, scaling it so you just need to extrude it up and that's it uh, here we have to kind of scale it a bit right so um, now let me go to the top again select this part uh, of the model let me turn off the x-ray that top part right there and then simply here um, the reason why we have segments here, even though um, for animation purpose, we actually might need to. I don't know uh, if this kind of bends uh, with the animation. I haven't uh, 
seen Futurama in a while. I can't really remember, but I need to watch in order for us to kind of animate Bender. So here it's just a simple extrude all the way to the top, of course, and then just scale it. All right, and that's going to be a sphere that we're just going to add in there. No need to kind of make that all in a single piece. Uh, um, and on this one, we might get away with just 24 because it's fairly small or uh, 16. There you go, 16 by 16. And what we'll do is just simply scale that, move it up, go to X-ray mode. I just kind of scale that right there. Make sure that the uh, antenna right there goes through it so it's not look doesn't look like it's floating and that should be for the top part at least so let's take a look what we have all right there it is so very simple okay and next let's go to our front again and let's uh, start the modeling for the rest okay so right here um, I'm gonna go select uh, Bender's head right here and I'm gonna go to edge mode I'm gonna alt click this bottom right here and I'm gonna drag this all the way down so let's go to our gizmo so we can see that better I'm just gonna drag it down here and as you can see there's some changes to this later on but it's important that we secure this part right here okay so first things first is that we need to create uh, the uh, mask right here so we need to create the lines uh, for uh, to uh, get that thing extruded okay so the tool for that is just uh, edge loop so control R then we're gonna bring it all the way up here kinda like around there so that will be the top part there's thickness right here um, well yeah let's go to the outer part right there now let's do another one oops sorry control R the bottom right there okay now we go to the side um, we're going to have to uh, we can move there or we can move our image let's just move our image so to kind of match so that would be the y-axis oops sorry object mode select the image all right I'm just gonna try and match it here so I'm gonna hold down shift so that it moves really slow all right and unselect that again go back to our cylinder okay so right here uh, let's create our cuts we're gonna need all this kind of cuts right here uh, so I'm gonna do uh, let's go here and add one two three four one two three four five so that's four that's five right there okay so I'm gonna select each one and then uh, just kind of move them line them up right here okay alt click the entire thing it's kind of matching those alt click alt click alt click all right so we got all those now um, let's move this down here uh, we actually don't uh, need it right there we just need it at the beginning right here but I'll move that all the way right here then that one is already positioned okay so uh, we're gonna need here is to just simply uh, we're gonna we don't need the rest right here we just need uh, this part right here and then we'll of course do our uh, mirroring later on uh, or uh, we can just uh, uh, attach it freely if we want to okay so let's go to point mode and I'm going to select this point right here and I'm gonna turn off the x-ray a little bit just want to make sure that we have this just this one being selected we don't want the other one from the back right there Maybe it's a good time right now to kind of cut this in half and let's do our mirror. Okay, let's do that real quick just so that uh, before it gets uh, too serious, right? So let's go to 
select uh, face mode selection let's go to our x-ray and we're gonna just simply select center going all the way up okay and if we miss some we simply zoom in and include them okay now it looks like front and back because I'm in x-ray mode and we're gonna press X and delete those faces while the uh, other half is selected let's add our mirror modifier that way when whenever we deal with points and whatnot when we drag we don't select anything from the back even though we have x-ray because it's not part of it okay all right so we select this one I'm gonna press uh, uh, this one right here we can move this down no problem right there okay and then this one right here goes right here and then the rest are simply just going to be a uh, uh, knife tool. Okay, so let's delete all the uh, edges that we don't need. So everything here, uh, from here. All right, X dissolve edges. So they all kind of go away let me get rid of my gizmo for now X dissolve and then we're gonna use our knife tool so press K snap to that point and to this point and then press enter to stop the tool otherwise you keep uh, cutting press K again click and click then press enter and uh, and I think that's it so everything that we have on this side is done so now we just need to um, cut all this right here with a knife tool we could have done it kind of going all the way straight but I just want to kind of demo how the knife tool kind of works first so we're gonna go here and it's gonna kind of trace the uh, the outer edge of the outline right there and that's it there we have it so now if we take a look at our model I'm gonna hit forward slash you could see where that is and uh, we all still have quads all correct topology and we're ready to extrude okay so we're gonna go here and select all the faces best way probably to do it's over here so shift and select all this we just got to delete all this press X and then faces we switch to our out uh, click the edge all the way and let's bring our reference image uh, right here so I'm in a uh, right orthographic okay so here we're just going to extrude okay so it's a little free form so when we uh, do that we can uh, press uh, E and then Y or press E right click cancel then you can just extrude it like so up to here okay and uh, what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna flatten this one all right so because it's looking like uh, well it looks correct but it's just that that needs to be flat so the best way to do that is just to scale okay so along the y-axis so s y 0 gives you a flat one and we simply go over here okay if we take a look at the front uh, the um, it's not quite uh, flush yet so uh, we're going to have to select uh, I guess here this edges right here and one from this side so that it keeps the shape so if I press one and I can drag this all the way here and get, that gives it that kind of wider uh, stance on uh, that one and uh, if you're a stickler to kind of you have OCD like me you click those you want you want those kind of straight line press GG you can travel along and kind of seeing that a bit and that should do it all right so we got that hollow part right there um, okay yep we got that one so now we're going to move on to the uh, to the side right here to take a look at the mount I'm going to go to x-ray mode again and we'll basically do the exact same thing 
so I'm gonna do control R okay but the control R here is already kind of crooked best way to do this is when you do control R right here and you want straight lines so drag it all the way down here where you have a flat one okay and let go and it's still selected so now you can drag this up and you get a straight line so another way is just to simply do S Z zero to uh, kind of scale the Z axis okay right there and then we do another one control R this should be straight because it's sandwiched between those two okay right there and we'll simply do the exact same thing so we need one two three four four cuts here all right and they're fairly almost on position so I'm not gonna mess with that so here uh, I'm going to kind of follow this one right here and you see double lines right because I already bebbled that that's for the part two where we add the detail so I'm going to uh, press K so we go right here and right there keep that kind of straight and probably here at the corner so we're going to make it kind of equal first and then we can uh, we'll make adjustments later on or actually uh, let me undo that we'll press enter let me just follow the uh, okay just kind of follow this one right here because there's another cut because this thing will move uh, eventually later on so maybe we should be uh, we should do this uh, right now and so we can kind of preserve this as well this becomes the teeth okay that's a good idea right there so uh, what we need here is uh, uh, select all these points here okay and then we're gonna drag this I'm gonna scale it actually okay I'm gonna go S and then Y scale it down like so or maybe up to that line right there all right thinking about it now maybe we should eliminate all this so that this just gets a kind of like a perfect uh, okay I think uh, that's what we need to do all right so kind of redo all this work it's gonna alt shift click all this I'm gonna eliminate all this for now okay uh, except for the top part okay so I'm gonna press X dissolve edges I will select the bottom right here so I get a ring okay what I'll do with this is scale it just press S and then just kind of move that back until I kind of get a straight line right there okay that looks like it's kind of close enough maybe scale it up just a tad back just kind of eyeball the back right here we got a straight one okay alright so now I'm going to do a control R right here and up to here only okay all right so now here I want this kind of straight line so let's try scale that one then kind of move it back that we can kind of all right and then maybe scale it a bit move it back a little bit okay select alt shift click both and then I'm going to scale it just a little bit bigger right there let's kind of move this one till it's straight so we kind of get that part this one okay now this will work um, we can uh, do this part and then preserve this one as well uh, and then we'll get that for the teeth okay so let's do the control R right here oh, oh sorry let's do that again got a need four lines okay right there okay so now I can uh, do the uh, knife tool Let's start right there go right here actually I already made a boo-boo I need to cut kind of like the inside part so okay we can start here and probably use that there okay enter then right here and over here okay all right so um, we have this uh, part right here and 
Uh, let's take a look. So, um, let's do the correct topology here while we're at it. So, let me, uh, well, let's just kind of leave it like that for now, okay? So, what I need here is to separate this part. Okay, so I'm going to press E. So, select all the teeth part right here. Okay, I'm going to press P, it's in Popeye, and I'm going to separate the selection. So now, go to object mode. This thing now is the teeth part, and we can basically scale this. Uh, let's set the origin first to uh, object, set origin to geometry, so it's at the center. So what we can do with this is... Um, scale it a bit and we can always let's kind of put that in there and the mirror went uh, wacky on this one because the uh, we need to change the center of the mirror to the main bender helmet and I'll kind of do it like that we got clipping gotta fix that in there so if we go here to fix the teeth uh, let's go here. We have clipping on, so I can just kind of push this towards and I'll lock those in. Okay, and then over here, just do S, X, 0. Just kind of straighten those. And we kind of got T going, and then we can select the top part right there, move that up, select all this part right here, and kind of move down. And then we can kind of move it right there. And that's where the teeth will be. Okay. Uh, we probably have, we can probably move uh, a lot of this kind of going forward. Uh, maybe select this right here and then just kind of on the right side, just kind of push that a little bit forward. And then select the front one kind of select that forward a little bit so it has like a, this really nice curvature okay let's go back to the helmet and uh, here I got to move this also back to kind of uh, turn on clipping on our mirror all right there it is so that's that right there and let's take a look at the topology here we don't want uh, kind of like this triangle right here so we'll just uh, maneuver around it okay so cake okay, uh, knife tool press enter to end it select this two right here that creates those triangles and then what we'll do is we'll just press X and dissolve and so far so good all right so now we have that and I was wondering uh, I guess this part right here where did we get this extra? Oh, the, yeah, the bottom. We never got to delete it. So let's just delete this bottom. Okay. Press X and then face. And, oh, yeah. I, we just got to move all this kind of. When I scaled, um, I wasn't looking at the front. So it kind of did that. And then. Uh, we can fix this uh, real quick. So just press GG. It'll travel along the line. Just kind of straighten that up. Now I'm going to select all of them and then SX0. All right. Keep them straight. Everything is nice. And uh, yeah. And we probably have this excess line right here we can get rid of. Okay. X dissolve edge. All right, so now we apply. Um, I mean, later on, that's what we'll do is we're going to apply solidify on this, and that gives it the uh, thickness that we desire right there. And once we apply that, that becomes part of the geometry. Okay, but that's for part two. All right, so uh, heads done. Now let's uh, do the body. So the body should be exactly the same as the cylinder, but we're going to make it a separate piece. 
uh, so we have more leeway with our model okay so let's go with the uh, cylinder from before scale that so it's the same kind of diameter here at the widest at the top okay and that should do it let's go to uh, x-ray mode while in edit mode we're gonna select points we're gonna drag it down here and scale it so there's that tapered kind of trash can type body okay and that simply is we're aligning it for the door as well so we can do our control R right here and our control R over here all right and what we can do is uh, we can select this part right here that becomes the door but let's figure out the top first so same thing as before I'm going to select the top uh, uh, face go back to the number one right here which is the front so let's do extrude right there and let's do our bevel uh, press 2 first make sure you're in edge mode you can't bevel in uh, uh, you can't bevel in what do you call this uh, uh, in face mode okay so that didn't quite work we do need to uh, uh, scale the top a little bit so I'm gonna right click to cancel the bevel so I'm going to scale here a little bit maybe around there okay then right click bevel all right that kind of work okay and let me right click and cancel so I just basically scaled it in around point eight six seven just your value might be different but basically I scaled it this angle right here bevel all right so there's that uh, we might need to add one more so there's going to be five lines okay and now uh, <coughs> we just sorry uh, we just need to make sure uh, the head kind of fits in there and it has its uh, kind of location okay so I'm gonna turn off x-ray that's gonna be weird now because it has this uh, flat back kind of deal and then the mount kind of the jaw kind of gets pushed back in so it's a weird kind of drawing not so weird in 2d but for us in 3d uh, yeah it's not uh, it's not what you call uh, symmetrical okay so here I have that connected so you can click on Alt shift click this line and it selects the next one or you can just select this control plus on your numpad it expands the selection okay so we're gonna need to kind of create like a little um, ring right here so I'm gonna press I for inset polygon I'm gonna go like that uh, it's just a hair outside the head right there and then here we can do press E to extrude okay and so it has kind of like a little uh, spot for the head so it just doesn't uh, kind of sits on top okay so it kind of gave it a little bit uh, of like a part okay so that's done let's go back to the body right here go to the front Okay, so I'm going to go x-ray mode real quick uh, and then we need to select so uh, just need to kind of have a marker right here all right so that's the width and I want to make sure that that's uh, so you can see there I selected the back all right so I just want to kind of mark it right here I'm going to turn off x-ray and I know uh, it's going to be this polygons let me remove my uh, gizmo remove that remove that one and that's the door okay and what we'll do here is uh, simply press P and selection so that becomes a different object then we'll position the uh, gizmo I mean the uh, pivot point in there later on and we'll uh, align the uh, 
the origin, so on and so forth. Okay, so uh, for the body, uh, at this point, uh, it's done. Okay, and uh, what else do we need here? So let's go work with uh, this shoulder thingy right here. Uh, that looks like um, another cylinder that we can just kind of taper. We can also use donut, but I think uh, it's a lot faster if we just kind of use cylinder or we can reuse uh, some of these parts right here. Uh, I'm going to select the body, okay, duplicate it, okay, and we're going to RY90, so we made it sideways basically. And let's recycle some of this stuff, so I'm going to go to face mode here. I'm going to select, alt click, select, select all that, control plus. So I want to uh, basically select all this up to that point okay and press x and face and then there's that donut part where we can actually and it has a nice opening here already so i think i just want to push that back a little bit so i select this one face mode control plus or you can select that and then alt shift click one of the lines of the polygon it gets selected like so start on our move gizmo here Gotta push that back a little bit, okay. And then uh, we're looking at the reference. We're going to uh, uh, scale this one. We want to scale it in the center, so its pivot point is not over here. It goes here. So while in object mode, we go to object, set origin, origin to geometry, okay. So now we can bring this over here, scale it. Okay, and uh, let's rotate it, and it's we scaled up a bit. All right, right there. Okay, so if we need to, uh, if it's coming out a little bit right here, uh, we can just kind of push that a little bit. Okay, so it needs to. It needs to have more uh, we can actually put a band on this one that might kind of complicate things so but let's just add a uh, let's go to x-ray mode I'm gonna go to edge mode select this edge here okay and we want to extrude this along the normal because if I extrude this now front okay it's a little uh, there's no flow to it because it's free form Okay, and if I do extrude and push it here, it has that. Well, that might actually work because um, it's just parts of it kind of going like so. Let's take a look. There we go. So, yeah, uh, that actually will work. Okay, so now we just got to mirror this part. Uh, maybe we just got to shrink it a bit. Yeah, right there's the size of the uh, the one in the reference. Maybe the only thing we need to do here is that this thing is way too small for the arm. So let's modify that. Remember, we just recycled from here. So I could. Uh, that's an easy fix. We can select this, okay, and then we can do a uh, Control Plus up to that okay so it's like one ring we're just going to uh, um, uh, we can delete this actually press X face go to edge mode select all that press F right here okay so now we have this so kind of similar to the opening of the head so we're gonna press I so it has a little bit of uh, what you call uh, uh, like a border now we want to extrude this uh, and then move it along here it'll probably work because it's just it's angled like so but if you want it to follow the normal uh, let me click undo on that one just to show you what I'm talking about here um, if we look at the front and we're in x-ray mode as you can see if we I extrude it and push it back 
Okay, there we go. So it's it's uh, moving along. It's normal. Okay, so if you push it with this from there, then it'll you know it kind of goes kind of straight. Okay, but if you just extrude and then push it with your mouse, it follows the uh, the angle of the rotation, so it'll look good. Okay, so that's that. Then we need a mirror for this, so just add a mirror. Okay, and then we're just gonna uh, eye drop. We want the center to be the body, so you get it perfectly right there. So we got that going, and we just need to create uh, the feet and then the uh, the uh, legs and the limb. Okay, and of course the eyeball. All right, so we're gonna have to decide. Uh, I think it's just hollow inside. So, all right, let's go here and let's create those. So, uh, what can we recycle here? Uh, maybe this one. That's sixteen by sixteen, right? So, Shift D to duplicate. I'm gonna move it over here. All right, and we're just gonna scale that. X-ray mode. Just kind of center it. right there and the bottom right here which is the center all right right there okay we're going to uh, select the bottom point or all the way up here change your selection to number three or faces then we delete okay and now we just need to go to edge mode or point mode and we kind of uh, let's select uh, actually move this one kind of center it right there and we select the points right here press S to scale and just kind of copy that kind of flare uh, at the bottom all right right there's fine okay over here uh, we do the exact same thing that's the opening for the foot so we select that press 3 to change it to uh, face mode okay and then press X delete the faces okay and you probably know the drill here we're gonna select this uh, edge going all the way around by alt uh, left clicking it press F right here okay and let's turn off x-ray so you can see it better press I then E to extrude and that's it okay so to the side however we want to make sure that it's properly aligned right there we need to give it uh, a mirror and the center along the X we want the body so you get two of them all right at this point you do want to save okay uh, save your uh, it's gonna dump it on the desktop bender lesson okay all right now we just need to create this and it's just a simple cylinder okay so uh, it has a lot of this lines because we're gonna use bendy bones to rig it uh, so it'll be kind of like a three-part video so actually four parts uh, up to when we animate okay so let's get a uh, cylinder in here um, add mesh uh, cylinder we probably don't want it as dense as 32 let's try 16 I think 16 will work it's very roundish and uh, it'll work okay so we want to rotate this so R rotate 90 degrees and we want to scale it so it's the same uh, length or I mean diameter as those uh, and the arm right there okay so position like so scale it up a bit okay and here we can just scale it S X until kind of looks like 
all right right there and it's fully inside let's go to x-ray mode so here we got to divide it so it has the same kind of segments it's this one two three four five six and a little bit and I think I look at the Matt Groening uh, um, drawing that's what it is it's like six and loose chains okay all right so let's do that control R for loop cut and we got What do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, I'm going to do it like this until they kind of fall on the cut right there, and then we'll just eliminate the extras. Okay, so and then I'll slide it over. All right, so I just, I don't know how many cut was that? Was that 12 cuts? Okay, so that's 12 cuts. And uh, right here, uh, we just need to create those cuts right there. So I want to make sure that while this is selected, okay, while this is selected right here, uh, in object mode, I do want to apply the scale transform so that when we do our bevel, they would look correct, okay? So uh, let's select all the strings then. So this all the joints right here so alt shift click alt shift click right there okay and then what we want is to uh, bevel these bevel until we get that thickness right there maybe right there but we don't want all this segment so we just want that so that we can select all those middle ones again alt shift click and we want to scale them oh wrong one we want to scale them but when we scale right now uh, it's not going to work because when I press S it all kind of converts in the center so we will need to change the way our uh, transform pivot from a median point uh, to individual origin basically scale them where the selections are so when I press S all right, there you go. So we got that scaling. All right, so it looks like this segment's right here. There you have it. Okay, and it's the same one we're going to use for the uh, for the feet. So we're going to copy it before we modify it to add kind of like the arm. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. Shift D. Uh, let's do a mirror. I drop the body okay shift D so I got another one I'm gonna rotate all right right here so actually this needs um, it's a lot better to manipulate um, um, bendy bones if it's a straight one but I think angle one right here would work so we don't have to worry about too much when we're painting the rig so let me turn on item right here and kind of give this 180 so we get a straight line first okay because you can see here we don't have enough uh, geometry so what we'll do is go to x-ray mode go to point mode right here and this is kind of complete this section right here so or a whole segment right there Okay, and just for keeping up with the topology, I'm going to uh, cut it there also. All right, let's go to uh, here and then just kind of rotate it. Okay, we don't know if that actually fits right there, so we'll just kind of position that. That works. And for the arms, okay. All right, and that is done. So we're going to select this also. We're going to go to point mode right here. And what we'll do is duplicate this, Shift D. You're going to use it as a finger. 
but we're going to lessen the uh, segments of course we just need four segments so just kind of matching that make sure it's inside or will be inside the hand and we need four segments one two three four okay so if we go here select this and control plus just basically we're gonna delete up to there X faces you know the drill already select the uh, uh, edge going all the way around alt click press F and that's secured we got one right there and if I look at the drawing I think there's one here and then two at the bottom or two at the top I can't remember but uh, either way you need three of them so we'll leave one for now and then we'll uh, after we create this part right here okay so for this one we just need this face right here okay and then uh, simply uh, move that back a little bit okay and then what we need is E to extrude and right click to cancel the move and then we'll press S so what we're doing is we're just kind of giving it a little bit of a bigger diameter okay and then we'll press E we'll move it all the way here then press S to scale alright and that's it for that one and then here uh, we're gonna duplicate this kinda have one right here and uh, I forgot if it's at the top maybe it's at the top we can always change it alright and uh, we're almost done for part one at least um, we're gonna need the eyeballs so that's just a sphere let's borrow again and we haven't named anything which we'll do in part two so let's just duplicate this move it here and rotate it that would be RX 90 you do want the the poles of the sphere to be uh, uh, facing you okay so we have kind of like a natural pupil right there uh, x-ray mode so that I can expand this and just kind of position it here okay and of course we do the same thing mirror so you have two of them and pick one of the ones with the center now let's take a look at what we have uh, and uh, we will boy we've accumulated enough in uh, materials right here so definitely part two will have plenty of stuff oh those eyeballs they do need uh, right there a little bit okay so at least for part one we are done with bender and it's all about uh, uh, giving it detail for part two uh, correcting the shading uh, marking some uh, creating some bevels so that we get soft corner applying uh, solidified to give it thickness uh, fixing the doors uh, pivot so that it opens properly with that angled body and uh, doorknob uh, the doorknob is just going to be a sphere probably going to borrow that flatten it and then that becomes it okay so that will end uh, bender part one so See you on the next video.